What's up guys, welcome YouTube and Warhouse fam to our channel. Uh, I'm Adam Steele, as you know, back here in the Warhouse gym. Um, welcome to the documentary series for the War Machines. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about the Ass to Grass, one of our most popular and favorites, I would say. I mean, they're all pretty popular. But uh, th this is the glute drive hip thrust, essentially total machine that um, I created. Uh, it was one of, uh, I think the first three or four that I ever did, this one came out uh, mostly out of demand and a lot of like requests, people that were coming to the warehouse and friends and people who knew me um, and like on Instagram and things like that, if I could create like a hip thrust uh, glute drive, if you will, I mean, same thing, uh, as far as that goes, that w that's better. And like, I got a lot of like friends input on like, oh, it, you know, it stops at the top. Um, the, the pad is too wide and it feels like my, it hurts my back if I go heavy. Of course, as always, the belts hurt. So, you know, naturally I had to go ahead and design and put our own belt with a seat belt attachment on it. And it is as the, the, uh, the marine vinyl, um, it's a, a quattro, it's like four length box stitching. Um, it's got a aluminum seat belt on it, you know, uh, that's impact ANSI rated. So obviously like over 2,500 pounds, you know, um, just awesome construction, adjustable and everything. And so, that was one of the things, um, the range of motion. Um, a lot of people feel like, you know, they're, they're not quite getting the full range. I've obviously um, done a fair amount of research and tested multiple uh, machines, whether it was the Icarian, the, the Nautilus, uh, the, the Mayhem, the, let's see, Mayhem, the, the Booty Builder, uh, actually uh, one, of my, one of the really good designs. Um, and let's see, there's a few others, obviously like Arsenal's flat, you know, where you use the bar or have it loaded with the pad that comes over. Um, none of them, none of them honestly like other machines really jumped out at me. Uh, so I just kind of took what was good with everything and decided to make it better. And that's where we come with the ATG. And a lot of people uh, ask me why I call it Asta Grass. And the reason is because I fucking made it. It's mine. I can call it whatever the fuck I want. And everyone seems to like it. So it, you, you go down low and you can go up high. It's ass to grass. And so we love it here. And um, yeah, and so that's, that, that's the new one. And obviously featured exclusively. And I'll show you right over here, um, or Miguel would be right here will be the videos, <laughs> the, the video for the, uh, you can check out like some of the clips and pics of like doing the construction, cutting uh, the parts and pieces out on the water jet so it can have a nice smooth construction. And being able to have that like higher platform, that over range of motion, and then be able to break the 180 degrees, almost like mimicking any, everything from a, standing deadlift to get that full upper glute uh, uh, maximus minimus activation and a full range of motion almost if you're doing like a deep lunge or an RDL. So being able to achieve that in one motion is pretty powerful as well as being able to have a universal and wildly comfortable machine with more superior lumbar support for a neutral uh, spine that doesn't flatten. And so I think that's huge. Um, it was, uh, it was fun to make. We had a, a lot of fun testing it. Um, it wasn't, uh, for me, it, it seemed like the range, it wasn't too difficult. Um, a little bit of playing around with the placement of like the length of feet, um, whether you're shorter or taller, you know, um, without having an adjustable sound. Like the booty builder, you can adjust and actually glide the back pad on its own two rails you know, front forward to back. And then we're gonna jump into that on the next series. Actually, some exciting stuff coming up where we're gonna go to other gyms and we're gonna go to other places and we're gonna compare the war machines versus everyone else. And that's gonna be a fun segment that we start here very soon. Um, so I'm really excited. Team's really excited and Petus Media and the guys are really excited. We're gonna be coming to a gym near you here in San Diego, even maybe outside of San Diego. And if you have a machine that you want us to compare to the war machines or break down the physics, dynamics, engineering, and ergonomics, you let us know. Um, super exciting, I think it's gonna be really fun. But as far as this goes, the size of the pad seemed to work out just perfectly to where with it being raised and not flat and not forward, that you can actually put your foot placement to get that perfect range of motion for e each individual at their height. And so you still get, and being able to go up and over with having the weight and the fulcrum placed where it is specifically, makes it for a very universally dynamic and very effective machine. So, been really exciting and really fun to use. Everybody seems to love it. We've uh, prototyped the belts for it. Um, I've even been asked by several companies if I would make belts just for it. And it, 
to my conclusion, if you're not willing to have the ATG, then you can't have my belt. And now that we've gotten to this level, no one's going to. You will see the War Machines, an exclusive line only featured in our locations as they start to pop up around America and other places. So we're, we're moving quickly and we're growing because of you guys and we appreciate it. So don't forget to like and subscribe and ask us a question. If you want me to do, do something, answer a question, get out there, let me know, because we're about building it correctly here and helping people get and reach their goals. And that's what we want to do in the Warhouse. We're a community and we're here for it. So if you're born to fucking send it, let's roll. All right, you guys, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.